Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at uh, some of the Iceworks stuff. Well, all of them, well, apart from Cassini. Uh, Chronica, Laplace, Laurents, uh, Messane, Red Shrike. Okay, so I've got all of these midied up to this. Okay, so when you load them in, is it, they're all AUV3s is when you load them in. Um, I just routed these to the MIDI controller. Okay, now also what I've done is routed the, you can see that, uh, hold on a sec, uh, channel one is routed to, let me move that out of the way, fader one here, and then channel two, and so on, until we get all the way to the, uh, uh, this one and this one, and obviously this one, which is set to play first here. And then also I have them all going into mix bus A so I can control the overall volume. And at the moment I haven't mapped this and I'm gonna map this to fader six. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. At the bottom where it says channel six received from mix bus A, you just tap on that there. And then you can choose these little, uh, they look like mixer faders there like this. And then, it will ask you for MIDI sources when you initially set your MIDI controller up. So you just tap MIDI sources and select the MIDI controller that you want to use to, you know, control your, well, it's all going to be done via the uh, Novation launch key. So that's fine. And I've already selected that there. So we can go back and then we can choose the parameter that we want to uh, learn, MIDI learn. Okay, so I've got I also got a graphic EQ and an, 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 an analyzer FX from four pockets on this last channel here. But I want to control the volume, so all I need to do is tap volume and then tap lane, and then I lose channel six here, and it will flash like that, and now it's mapped and it's done. And I tell you what I will do is I will save this session, save, yes, and it's done. Okay. So now it will remember everything when I come back to it at a later date. Right. The graphic EQ at the moment is actually switched off. Okay, so it's not running at the moment. And I've made some adjustments to the EQ. And then everything will run through the analyzer so we can basically see what's going. The analyzer is really good. Uh, for, I mean, I don't use them very often, but look, there are a lot of people who like them. And this is the uh, four pockets analyzer, and you've got lots of presets and stuff. So we can have a quick look at that while I'm playing as well. Now, here we go. I'm going to close the microphone and then I will uh, bring in the EQ as well when I've brought in everything else sort of thing so you can hear the difference. I wanted it to be a little bit more top endy sort of thing than it was. Okay, I shall close the microphone out and here we go. Now, at this point, I'm wondering why haven't I got any any sound at all coming through i'm playing but what isn't why haven't i what's going on hang on a sec let's see it's clear and then let oh do you know what i know what it was <laughs> Uh, oh, you know, I'll tell you what it was, right? I'm going to leave this in. I'm not going to edit it because this was a stupid mistake. Let me just load the file back in. I think I called it something to do with ice works or something. Ice, ice session. Right, okay. Why I wasn't hearing any sound at all, this is set up, is because my channel six, which is all going into, was turned down. And that's a stupid mistake, so I'm going to leave that in. So I'm going to turn that up to about the.
So when you've mixed them all to a point where you're happy, I then I would suggest that you root everything in and, and then put some sort of EQ in so you can actually get a, a nice balance in the sounds. Now I selected uh, different various, just di just different presets to play around that. I think I might have made a few adjustments with bits and pieces here and there, but you know, most of it was presets and I was just playing around, you know? So anyway, here we go. So here's the sound. And I think that's quite, you know, I think it needs more top end and I've taken out a little tiny bit here, about 1K drop. And then I'll switch this on. So here it is again. And here it is with a bit of EQ. Much nicer, you can start to hear. Now I've got symmetry switched on on the Four Pockets graphic so that any adjustments that I make will be over both. They'll both be, sorry, if I switch symmetry on, any adjustments that I make will be linked. Okay, so. And I've got the range set 24 dB. And uh, the preset I started with was Trail Boost. And you can you can use uh, uh, RMS or peak meter in. And then the analyzer, I've got it like one to one octave, but we could set that at uh, this one. And remember to have any analyzer you have at the very end of the mix. So we have a look at the EQ. I don't know if we'll notice anything here, but if I switch the EQ off, you can see where we're boosting. The good thing about this as well is we also have waiting. Not really sure what that is. That's a lot of good stuff. Also has a tuner so if you've got any samples or anything you can tune your samples I mean <laughs> the thing the problem is with the ice gear stuff is it's everything is running all over the place you know what I mean it's like the sequences and things going on so the confusion the tuner gets confused. Anyway, now I've said that, let's have a mess around with this patch I've set up here.
Hey, hey, that was fun. Okay, so <clears throat> you can do some interesting stuff by using the same patch, just putting multiple instances in. But it was nice to do the ice gear stuff, you know, because uh, it, it has that very kind of, I don't know, what is it like? It's like a metallic y, uh, a lot of it's very oriental feeling as well. It's nice. It's very, very nice. But you do need some sort of EQ because with a massive range of sounds like that, there's going to be some bits of that. Uh, equalization that you're not happy with you know it's probably probably too much mid or something like that and you can sort it out with an eq dead easy listen guys i'm gonna go um thank you for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel and as always if you possibly 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 can please please uh, consider becoming a patron because we cannot survive without the support of the community anyway thanks for watching awesome top job cool beans and top bananas and i'll see you guys later ta -da.